We care about our food a lot, how it's made, where it comes from, what benefits and risks it adds to our health, and how the animals it came from are treated. Not surprisingly, one of the hot topics in past years and current news is the use of recombinant bovine somatotropin, or RBST, in dairy production. Conflicting media investigations and scientific reports have made it difficult for consumers to understand the use of this biotechnology, so we hope this presentation helps to debunk the feedbunk and increase general understanding of agricultural practices. So what exactly is RBST? RBST, marketed under the name Pazilac by Monsanto, is a synthetic version of the protein cattle hormone called bovine somatotropin, or BST. BST is synthesized in the brain of the cow and influences milk production. Recombinant BST is identical to the natural version, and it is a biotechnology used to increase the efficiency of nutrients in the feed, as well as environmental resources such as land and water for the production of milk. In other words, using RBST in dairy production allows us to increase milk yield and leave less of a carbon footprint. Of course, all of these features of RBST are great, but we need to understand its effects on the humans who consume these milk products. Many people are concerned that this hormone can cause adverse effects on human health or our endocrine system. However, RBST is a protein hormone. It can be denatured or rendered inactive through the process of pasteurization. Additionally, the human digestive system is able to break down the protein and absorb it as amino acids and peptides rather than as the active hormone. Furthermore, studies have shown that even if RBST was able to make it into the human bloodstream, it is not compatible with human cell receptors. Essentially, RBST consumed by humans does not cause any health concerns. Let's not forget about the welfare of our bovine friends either. It's a fair question to ask how RBST affects dairy cows. The hormone has been shown to increase milk yield by 8.8 pounds per day, with no changes in fat, protein, or lactose concentrations. Additionally, RBST does not cause a significant difference in lameness, mastitis, the inflammation and infection of the udder, reproductive performance, longevity and herd life, or general health of the cattle. Overall, recombinant bovine somatotropin is a biotechnology approved by the FDA for use in dairy production, and studies have shown it to be both safe in regards to animal welfare and the production of food for human consumption. We owe it to RBST for keeping our dairy production moving.